So my journey to knowing the Lord um, started in a church. My dad is a pastor, and I grew up in a small church full of people that I saw were desperate for the Lord. And I wanted that same desperation, but I wasn't sure how to get it. So when I was young, I asked the Lord to show that to me, how to be desperate for Him. Um, and it wasn't until about 10 years later that I was able to see that desperation because I started searching for my peace and my happiness through the world through parties and alcohol and people that didn't care about me, just anything to make me feel better about myself. And it was then that I hit rock bottom. I um, was having seizures, found out that I had a tumor, and basically I cried out to the Lord like I've never cried out to Him before. And it was through that process, through that healing, through seeing the miracle in my life that I was brought to the Lord. I confessed my sins to my dad and repented and I never looked back because there was nothing like knowing the peace of God. I had seen what the world had to offer but it was nothing compared to God's peace. So that was sort of the journey that took me to where I am today. And now, um, what does it look like for me to live that out on a daily basis? I do my best to love God through reading His Word, through worshiping Him, through being a part of the local church, um, through praying to Him, talking to Him on a regular basis, and then through loving His people because He's called us to be salt and light here on this earth. So I do my very best every day to try to do that, to walk that out practically, not just saying that I love Him, but showing Him that I love Him through my actions. Currently, um, I serve at Woodlawn Campus at Church of the Highlands on the prayer team. So on Sundays, I pray um, for people at the end of services. I pray during the service, uh, just overseeing for those services and those people in that service. I also um, serve with the Dream Center. That's my heart and soul. I love missions and that ministry, and um, I'm serving there. Um, tw two Saturdays a month, I'm overseeing the people on the door-to-door -door team. I'm going out and talking to people in the communities of Birmingham, um, just showing them the love of God. And then finally, I serve with the Trafficking Hope Ministry, which is a ministry that um, goes out and does rescues for women who have been trafficked in the Birmingham area. We pray for the women who have been trafficked in this area. We Anything we can do to try to spread awareness, um, and I'm really excited about what God's doing through those ministries. The gifts that I believe that the Lord has blessed me with um, spiritually are, and I've taken the test to, to see these things, as first of all, is missions. Um, I know that God has given me a heart for the lost and those that don't know Him, wherever they are, whether that's local missions. I've also done some overseas missions. I know that that is my heart. Um, for God's people. I feel like God has also given me a spiritual gift of exhortation. I love to speak life and God's word over people um, because that's what he, I feel like he has placed in my heart to do. So in any chance that I can get to speak that over someone, I do my best to do that. Um, and then finally, I think God has given me a spiritual gift of, of hospitality. I, I've always been able to see people who might feel like they're on the outside looking in or those that maybe feel like they're lost or alone and reach out and welcome them into God's house. Um, the reason that I chose Highlands College is because I feel like for so long I've wanted to get more involved in ministry, but I also believe that the Lord has to equip you to do that. If, he, if you're going to try to step into leadership positions or step into roles that God has called you to, you also need to be equipped, and I think Highlands College will equip me to be able to do the things that I'm called to do here on this earth um, as far as ministry is concerned. I think I would say my greatest struggle currently, um, and I think we all struggle with this, is patience, being patient with the, the temptations or the things that have come into my life, whether it be I'm a teacher, so sometimes that's my students. Sometimes it might be the other teachers that I work with or um, friends or family in my life, just learning to be patient with them and just like God has been patient with me. 
I know that he's called me to that. It doesn't mean it's always easy. And um, you, you probably heard before, you know, do not pray for patience because the Lord will send you someone. And I feel like that that has been uh, true of my life. But God is still working on me. He's teaching me how to be patient with others, just like he's been patient with me because the Lord knows that, you know, he's had to say, okay, Madison, you need to go back. You need to work on this. And he's constantly being patient with me, reminding me that he loves me, that he cares about me while also correcting and helping me go back to the way that he has called me to. So I think for me, that's my biggest struggle, but I know that the Lord is working on me and he is faithful. End.